how do we get nearsighted? Around the eye, there are six muscles. Two of them is located at the back of the eye, like this. Okay. When we are reading, we turn our eyes in and down, like this. How many of you uh, do not use computers? Any of you don't use computers? Okay. Usually there's one or two, but this, in this audience here, none. Okay, so you spend how many hours looking at the computer screen? Four, five, six hours, and you go home and look at your email for another two, three hours, right? So you spend a long time. So that means that your eyes are focused on the distance to the computer screen. Right? So what happens? Your eyes adapt. Already in the 60s, uh, researchers want to know, does the environment influence your uh, eyesight? Right? So they put a little chimpanzee, a baby chimpanzee, they put him in a box, 50 centimeters. No matter where he turned, 50 centimeters was all he could see. Within a month, he started getting nearsighted. Within a year in the box, he was minus seven, between minus seven and minus 14, right? The worst thing is that when they took him out of the box, the, the nearsight continued to get worse. Okay, so where's your screen? This is your box. <laughs> right, so your eyes are basically adapting to where you are in the environment. It takes longer time than when you are a baby chimpanzee, but still the dynamics are there because you are focusing all the time. Let's, let's make an experiment. Make a fist. Just make a, make a fist, left or right hand. That's not no political significance. Just make a fist. Okay, <clears throat> take the other hand. Press really hard. One, two, three. Take the hand away and try to move your fingers. Is it easier, more difficult? More difficult, right? This is what happens to your eye muscles when you stare into the computer for 10 hours a day. Right? They get locked. Right? So what happens is that the only way the eye can go is backwards. There's a pressure that develops here, and your eye expands backwards, and you get nearsighted. This is the mechanical aspect of nearsight. For each millimeter that your eyeball is longer equals three diopters. So if you are six diopters nearsighted, that means that your eyeball is two millimeters longer. Okay, what I want you to understand is that the physical changes we need to make in your eyes are very small. Okay. Have you ever tried to pull your eyelids like this? Or squint? So when you do that, you're actually changing the shape of your eyeball. You're squeezing it just a little bit. But it gives you an idea of what's going on when you hold those muscles. You know, when you hold your muscles in a particular situation, then they will cramp, they will lock. You try with your legs, you stand like this, and very soon your thigh muscles will begin to let themselves be known. Right, so this is what happens. So what we have to do is, with vision training, we have to release this tension here so that this is not tense anymore. And then what happens is that the, the pressure or the, the tendency is that actually the eyeball wants to get smaller. Because you remember from physics, if you put air into a balloon or into a football, it becomes round, the pressure is equal all around. Right? So that's the same thing with the eye. So if you take that pressure away, then the eyeball actually wants to go back to be round. And so the dynamic is that your near sight gets less, and that helps us in what we want to do. So I talk about diopters. <coughs> what is a diopter? A diopter is a measurement of the power of the lens that you wear. Okay, <coughs> so a lens with one diopter has a focal length of one meter. This means if you're nearsighted, you can see crystal clear to one meter from you. You don't need glasses for reading, okay? If you fold it in the middle, you get 50 centimeters and you get, you still don't need glasses for reading, okay? But if you use glasses that are less than two diopters all the time, in other words, you put them on in the morning and leave them on the whole day so you know where they are, right? <laughs> okay, then you make your vision worse. The reason is that normal vision, normal without any particular glass or any particular problem, is designed for distance. It's designed to look at the mountains, look for food or enemies. <laughs> right. So <clears throat> there's no effort in looking at the mountains. But if you look at a book, for example, your eyes have to change three diopters, minus three, to look at the book. So if you wear minus two diopters, which you can see to 50 centimeters with, that means that you have to change three 
plus two. That's five diopters to read the book. So what happens? Your eyes have to adapt to that. And they do that by getting worse. Right? So don't wear them. You don't need them. You can see crystal clear to 50 centimeters. So take, put them on your nose or put them on your head or whatever. Right? Especially with children. If children are less than three diopters, they don't need glasses for reading. Right? This is here. 